so without further ado let's go to our first build which is the futuristic airplane. Here we are at our first build and I'm here with my friend Rafif. This actually looks like a real plane from the outside. I know, it already looks amazing outside so I'm really excited for the inside of this plane. After you enter the entrance of this plane you get directed to the main control room. They have all these complicated pilot control things. It's really detailed. And now we're in the main room where all the passenger seats are. They even have all the little baggage areas at the top of each seat. Yeah, they made it like a real life airplane. I don't like riding planes but if this was a plane then I'm 100% riding it. Maybe you should make your own airline, Dragon Dude Airlines. Sure, I'll even make the plane design a dragon. Subscribe to me if you think that's a good idea. And if not still subscribe to me either way lol. But anyways this is a really good build, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. I'm gonna save 10 out of 10 for later since I have a feeling other builds could be better. We're off to a good start so far though. Let's jump off this plane to our next build then. <coughs> Alright here we are in the next build which is a battleship. Boom, bam, bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Don't forget that this build also has a mini submarine. I actually didn't notice this at first but now that I do it's really well built. Look at all the parts needed to make the submarine. This probably took a really long time to make. Not to mention you can go inside of it. I think I'm too fat to fit inside guys. Let's check out the inside of the ship now. It looks like an actual battleship. You even have all the cannons and guns on the side of the ship, and it actually functions. Down here we have the storage room. Well they got a huge nuke in here. Sadly chicken gun has a block limit so it's pretty empty. Chalo apps should make a build mode where you can put more blocks in my opinion. Let's go to the second floor. This ship even has an elevator. I guess this is the long room. And here's the top of the ship. I built this alone by the way. This definitely deserves a 10 10. The amount of time and effort it took to build all of this is amazing plus points for the mini submarine too i really don't think any other build in this video could top this one but we'll see on to our next build also shout out to rafif for the builds before for the next build we have a soccer stadium or as most people call it football it's built by my friend Pedro so shout out to Pedro And if we see it from above it actually looks like one of those soccer stadiums This inspires me to start my own football club lol I'll name it Dragon FC and will win the Champions League every single season Anyways, it's also accurate cause as you can see there's also the bench where the backup players can sit Not to mention it tells everyone to subscribe to Dragon Dude Now before I give my final score, let's play a round of soccer first The winner of this match will win the Dragon Cup and a lot of money Welcome everyone to tonight's match, it's Dragon FC vs Pedro FC, here we have Dragon Dude running up to the goal, he shoots, and it hits the woodwork, I can't believe it. But yeah this is a cool build I rate is 10 out of 10 for creativity, plus you can play soccer in it and I quite like soccer. Once again thanks to Pedro for making this build. For our next build we have a luxury apartment. Hello? So from the outside we can see the Brazilian flag, shout out to all my Brazilian fans watching this right now. We have a few guards in the front, good for security, especially since this is a big apartment. They also have a big garage which leads to the front door, and after going inside we're greeted with a dining and living room. It's also very spacious so you can put a lot of stuff in it. Here we have a comfy pink couch and a TV so you can lay down and chill. They also have a kitchen and the fridge is stacked with food, and here we have the private room. They also have a bathroom here, although it's weird that they have windows. I do not want people to see me bathing lol. And if we go through this portal we arrive at the rooftop. We have a small swimming pool or jacuzzi in the middle and a place to sunbathe. This is fine. Overall it's a good build and I would give it a 7 out of 10. It's a bit messy and I think if they upgrade the furniture and design a bit they'll get a higher score. Thanks to TV Man for making this build. For the next build we have a warship. This build reminds me of those cool battleship games. Not going to say the name lol. Welcome to my warship. This guy looks very rich. You already got good detail from the outside part. There's even more cool stuff inside. Gotta drink my milkshake first so my mind doesn't melt when I see the inside. Up first we have I'm guessing the workshop part of the ship. And down here we have submarines that are ready to be deployed. I should also buy this boat for the Dragon Dude army. And here we have the sleeping quarters. It's big enough to fit 8 crewmates inside the ship. And over here we have the engine room. Looks similar to a real engine room. You gotta love the detail in this build. If I was a crewmate I wouldn't mind living in this ship, the most important room of all, the weapons room, so if an enemy comes at us we can defeat them fast, we also got a place to chill for all the crewmates, speaking of crewmates this could be an Among Us map lol. 
Last but not least if you go up these stairs, it'll lead you to the captain's room, a pretty cozy place for a captain. This ship is actually really huge. You're a pro builder bro. I rate this build another 10 out of 10 again. There's so many good builds this time that I have to give most of them a full score. Thanks. Now let's fly in this helicopter to the next build. Shout out to the bacon for making this build. Helicopter, helicopter. For our next build we have a giant KV-6 tank. For reference here's what a KV-6 tank looks like. I have never seen a tank this big in my life. Hello I am the owner of this tank. From the outside you can already tell this tank build is going to be awesome. Look it even has flames on the back side. Also they have Moya at the front. A perfect touch to this build. Also this is a cool entrance sign and you should do what it says. Alright let's finally go on this tank. There are a lot of Coco and PC soldiers which is a good touch. We can also go up here to the tank control room. We have the tank shells over here and the turret view outside. Also how do you get out of here? Good question. I didn't think about that lol. And over here we have another control room. The tank is so huge that you can even fit two turrets on it. Finally we have the main controls here to move the tank. For your final rating I'll give it a 9.8 out of 10. An amazing build from Cat so give a round of applause to him. I also really like the Moya in the front and the Coco in PC lol. For our 7th build we have a small shop. Since there's no text over here I'll just fix it. There we go. Dragon Dude Burger Shop. Like this video if you like burgers. Over here we have a single chair for a single customer. As you can see we don't get a lot of customers here lol. Please someone come eat here. But at least they can watch some TV while they eat here. Although we only have one channel and it's just this. We also have trees around the restaurant for extra oxygen. Inside here we have the main kitchen. Lots of food to serve. And yet no one to serve. I'll just place this camera here so we can spy on our non-existent customers. Anyways, I'm pretty sure this is the smallest build in the whole build battle. It's pretty cozy but I think it needs more added to it. So I'll give this build a 7.5 out of 10. And on to our final build which is the Dragon Dude Clone Execution Chamber. You guys are gonna love this one. First we got a security post here. Oh my god the Coco soldier died. I don't know who did this but this is devastating. I bet it's one of the Dragon Dude clones who escaped. Rest in peace Coco soldier. Can we get an F in the comments please? Well since he's dead we'll use his body as a test subject. Um where is the acid? Alright guys you didn't see anything. Now let's test this out. Bye bye dead Coco soldier. This is so sad. But yeah anyways this acid looks really cool don't you think? We also got another security guard room and we have a penguin sleeping. Get back to work I didn't pay you to sleep. There's also another penguin up here to stay on guard in case any dragon dude clones escape. That's all for this build and because it kills dragon dude clones I have to give it an 11 out of 10 mode. Alright guys, this is a huge red bird by Flamer. Hello guys! This is looks pretty awesome. I really like this one. It has brown feet like the real bird. And also the detail of the body too. Um. Why there is a lava in bird's body? Never mind. I think it might be stomach acid in the bird's belly. As we know, inside our belly there is a stomach. And in the stomach there is an acid to digest the food. Right? Hum. I don't expect that we learn biology from Flamer's build lol. Anyway, let's continue to the review. I think the bird is pretty fashionable, because he wears the newest glasses and chicken gun, lol. I'll rate this build with 9 out of 10, this is an awesome build. Thank you! Moving to the next build, this is a maze, oh boy, a maze and chicken gun, this is gonna be fun, by the way, this maze is made by by MR Oppen. Hello? Um, are you okay bro? I think he's lagging. Okay, this is the first door to enter the maze. I'm really hyped for this. Inside the maze, there are so many decorations like this torch, fireworks, mushroom, and a ninja. Awesome right? And then, after a couple of minutes exploring this maze, I found this. Chicken corpses. Dang, were they trapped in this maze for so long that they died here. This is kinda scary lol. And then after exploring the maze again with MRO, finally we came to the right path, and we finally managed to get out of the maze. Anyway, I'll give this build with 10 out of 10, this is perfect, MRO did a great job making this maze, I'm having fun to exploring it lol. Moving on to the next build, this is a big submarine. By the way, the creator from this build is the same as previous maze, MR Oppen. Alright, let's explore this submarine shall we? The first thing you see after entering this submarine is the engine room. This is really cool. So much detail with the machine. And then there is a corridor with so many rooms on it. 
the first room in the corridor is a meeting room, you can prepare a plan right here before doing a war. And then there is also a bedroom, there are so many beds right here. And then this is the coolest room in the submarine, weapons room, there are so many guns, like these rocket launchers, Gatling guns, AK-47, nuclear bombs, What? Dang, that's is pretty dangerous to bring nuclear bomb in submarine. And MRO said that these weapons are for defensive purposes, awesome. And then, there is a control room to control the submarine behind the weapons room. There are so many computers, this is so sick. And then there is the main room, right here you can clearly see the view from under the sea, so if you use this submarine to find the Atlantis, then you can clearly see how beautiful the Atlantis is lol. Anyway, I'll give this 10 out of 10, this one is also a perfect build. Moving on to the next build, this is a big mansion by UCAT PTBR. Um, I'll call him Cat to make it easier, lol, by the way, judge by the environment. Why do I feel this mansion is a haunted mansion? It has a dark and scary vibe. Oh? Cat calling us to join the barbecue, forget about what I said before, let's enjoy the barbecue and continue to review his mansion shall we? UP, it's barbecue time, yum yum. By the way, this is the backyard from the mansion, it has a barbecue place that we are now staying at, and there is also a dining table too for us to eat the barbecue. And it also has a merry-go-round and also a swing too, this place is so cozy and fun. Alright, it's time for inside the mansion, this is the entrance door, and this is the dining table room, so much clean with a fan and candle up there. Oh wait, why there is a spider web right there? Ooh. Um, okay let's just continue the review. Okay, this is the kitchen, so much clean and neat. Bruh, the spider web again. Are you serious? I have a bad feeling about this mansion, I have started to think this is a haunted mansion right now. Nah bro, it's impossible, right? I don't know. Okay, let's see what inside the shelf and also the fridge. It's all empty. My disappointment is immeasurable. Okay, this is the living room. This already looks cozy by entering the room. There is a sofa and also a TV to watch together, and also a fireplace below the TV. It's so warm and cozy. And then there is a gaming room. It's so simple and clean. There is a gaming PC with a gaming chair. I can't wait to play chicken gun on it. And there is also a door to exit the mansion too. On the second floor there is a room with a fish tank right here. This is so clean and I like the idea of the fish tank. And then there is also two bedrooms at the second floor. It looks clean. And then there is a... What the... I think I didn't see anything right there. So let's just go. Oh, there is a gold play button with my name on it. Oh my gosh, thanks cat. I always wanted this gold play button. Someday I'll get this gold play button too. And I need your help to make this happen by subscribe to my channel. And yeah thank you guys for helping me, so let's continue the review. Okay, this is the basement from the mansion, um, it's kinda scary right here, I hope there is nothing happened right here. There is a chicken corpse right here, someone already murdered this chicken. Okay okay. Jokes aside, I'll give this mansion a 9 out of 10, Cat really did a great job to making this mansion look clean and cozy and also keep the scary vibe too. Moving on to the next one, this is a big warship, it's so cool, and there is also a UK flag on the balcony, shout out for UK chicken gun player. And now let's go inside the warship, this is the rest area, this room is for the soldier to rest and also drinking after hard work, there are so many sofas and also some decoration like cabinet, and also the drink table to make some drinks, and then let's head to the second floor, this is the workstation room, this is the room to control the warship and also communicate with the soldiers, there are so many computers, this is so cool. And then at the back of the warship, there are so many gas tanks right here, I don't know what the purpose to put so many gas tanks right here, but, yeah, looks amazing. Oh and I also like the idea to putting a merry-go-round as the propeller for the warship, and then there is a warehouse, this room is mostly to keep the ammo box for the soldiers, but there is a fridge in this room. Huh? Hum, maybe this fridge is for the soldiers to take snack when they are hungry? Lol. And then at the back, there is an engine room, bedroom, meeting room, and also working room. 
Overall, I'll give this an 8 out of 10, this warship is amazing. Moving on to the next build, and yeah, another submarines again. We've reviewed Imaro's build with his submarine before. So let's see who has the coolest submarine lol. Okay, let's explore the inside of this submarine. There is an engine room at the very back, looks pretty neat, and then in the corridor, there are some decoration with the cabinets and some racks. In the first room in the corridor, there is a meeting room, looks pretty clean with a table and chairs, next to that meeting room, there is also another tables too. Maybe they put it outside the room because that room is too small lol, and then this is the bedroom, so many beds and looks comfy. And the last room is the control room, this room is mostly for work and also controls the submarine, looks so cool. Overall, I'll give this submarine a 7 out of 10, looks amazing but it could be better. Okay. Moving on to the next build, this is a heaven house by Cray and his friend Richgite. Oh by the way, they said that they didn't have much time to finish this build because they only had like 40 minutes to finish it, that was a short time to complete the building, I wonder how the build looks like. Okay, when you enter the house, the first thing you see is the big dining table and also the kitchen right there, this looks so clean, and the food on the dining table is looks delicious. Mmm, so good and tasty! I want to eat the food later but let's focus on the review first. This is the stove, but wait. I see the PS4 on the floor next to the stove, why they put PS4 on the floor and also next to the kitchen bowl. And next to the kitchen, there is a cozy living room with the sofas and also the TV. Looks pretty neat. And then there is a bedroom. Um. Why is there a big hole and also a big door in your bedroom? I prefer to put a wall instead of the door to make a privacy in your bedroom wall, but overall, this bedroom is looks clean, and there is also a guitar right there, judge by it, I think who sleeps in this room is also a guitarist, overall, after I reviewed the build with the short time they had before, I'll give them a 7.8 out of 10, if they had more time, the results would definitely be better. Moving on to the last build in today's video, this is a small base with a container, this build made by Logan. It sounds interesting, especially when I already see the sport car right there lol. Okay, the first thing you see is the living room, so much cozy with the sofa and the TV. And then there is a dining room with a kitchen. Oh my gosh, this dining room is on the next level, I was not expecting this dining room to be this good. There is a fridge with so many fruits in it, looks yummy. And also the stove, with the oven above the stove? What? Oh, I see. I think this is a kitchen chimney, not an oven, so much creative. And then there is a balcony with a cozy chair to see the view or maybe to see a sunset. And there are water bottles to roll, remember my friend, stay hydrated. Oh, there is a super computer next to the chair, I wonder what is the purpose of this computer right here lol. Next is the bathroom, this looks so clean. Wait, hold up, there are wheels on the bath tube. Hey yo, what the f- um? Who wants to drive the bath tube anyways? And then this is the bedroom, ah, so cozy. And then this is the gaming room, I want to play chicken gun on that laptop lol. And the last is, the helipad. Oh boy, this is so cool, he has so many helicopters and also a private jet, I want to fly with it lol. Okay, overall I give this a 10 out of 10, this is so perfect. Hey guys, welcome again to, Showcase Build. Without further ado, let's get straight to build number 1, and the build number 1 is, Dragon Dew Cruiser. While this cruiser is using my name, and I am with my friend Artome, who is also the builder of this cruiser. Hello everyone. Let's tour the cruiser. It has many guns. I see, the gun is also located at the front and back. There are also guns on the side, including anti-aircraft gun. Wow, damn, this cruiser is very well equipped with weaponry. This baby is two years old. What? Then you made it long ago. This cruiser is so amazing. And the outer part is already cool, how about the inside? Plane? Let's do a dogfight. Huh? What's that? A plane fight? Yes, plane fight. Oh, let's go then. What? Damn, our tone is so pro at dog fighting. Hey, thank you. Let's go for round two. Let's go. Wow, 
Our tone is really great at this. Looks like I need to practice dog fight. Round 3. Um, I think we should continue the tour of the build. Let's tour inside. Oh, there are two beds here. And here is the place to enjoy the view. The furniture is also neatly arranged. And here is where the cruiser engine is located. The way he arranges the stairs is also elegant. Oh, here is the cockpit. The room is also complete. Such as a room for playing table tennis, the captain's office, and the bathroom. This build is absolutely perfect. This cruiser demonstrates the maker's high level of expertise and dedication. And I must say, our tone is one of the greatest builders guys. Let's move on to the second build. And the second build is... A house? Wow, the house is really nice. The exterior looks very cozy already. And the builder is... Rob aka Rafif. Welcome to my house. I build it with my friend. Cool bro. Let's tour this house. There's a Sigma statue. And some decorations in the yard such as bushes and seat for relaxing. A garage. The garage is also made with attention to detail. Damn. This is the inside of the house guys. And this is the dining area. Made and arranged very neatly. This is the living room. A place to spend time with family. The bathroom is also made very well. Good job. Oh, hello Mr. Hanson. A studio. Wow, this place also seems suitable for a private office. And here is Rafif's bedroom. There is also a PlayStation in here. Guys, it turns out there is another room on the second floor. This is also very well made and amazing. This house is exceptional. The design and craftsmanship are truly remarkable. Good job Rafif. Let's move on to the third build. And the third build is... A hospital. And Rafif is the builder. Wow, the logo is cool. Let's tour inside. Here is the waiting area and receptionist. Wow, everything is so nicely and amazingly arranged. Look at this reception desk guys. It's so detailed. And here is the medical ward. Damn, Rafif made it so realistic. And not just one room unit. There are many other unit rooms available, such as orthopedic ward, emergency room, outpatient department, geriatric ward, operating theater, and many more. And the toilet. Wow, Rafif. Hello again, Mr. Handsome. Hee <laughs> What? Apple? Hey bro, why did you put the apple here? Why bro, what's wrong with an apple? Because an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Wow. This hospital is outstanding and perfect. The construction is incredibly clean with every block placed perfectly and is actually giving me the hospital vibes. Good job Rafif. I love it. Let's move on to the next build. And the build number 4 is... A UFO. Day and bro. This is so cool. And here is the written remake because it is true. This is a remake version of the UFO from old Rafif's building in this video. And Rafif is still using Coco Skin to you. The old version was already good, so how good will this remake version be? Let's explore this UFO. Wow? What is this guys? Weapon room. This UFO weaponry is very complete, and the weapons are adjusted to their type. Rafif, you are an insane builder. Let's see the second floor. Wait, the UFO engine and supplies are here. And here is the main control room or cockpit of this UFO. And there are still many details made by Rafif. This UFO building is truly out of this world. Look at this UFO guys. The creativity and attention to detail are extraordinary. Great job Rafif. Rafif is too pro at building. Keep up the great work. Let's move on to the next build. And the build number 5 is... A flying ship. Wow, another great build from Rafif. Hey Rafif. This is my remake flying ship. Oh, I like it bro. Let's tour. Whoa. Look at this periscope guys. So cool. And so creative. This is the place to hold meetings. Oh. Here is the navigation room. Rafif really did a crazy upgrade in this navigation room. Let's go down. Let's go. And here's the engine part of this flying ship. The engine uses the newest spare parts. I also placed the machine on the other side. Oh. The details are as I expected. Very cool. Another meeting room. And the most important room on this flying ship, the cockpit. So cool. Look at this cockpit guys, the detail is amazing. The attention to detail in this flying ship design and construction is impressive. Rafif did a great job in making this remake version too. Once again, good job Rafif. Let's move on to the next one. Before we move on to the next build, I want to let you know that the upcoming build may have low quality footage, but trust me, it's still definitely worth watching. The build number 6 is, a luxury hotel. Wow? 
and the builder is Peter Games. Welcome to my hotel. Thank you for coming, Dragon Dude, and hello, everyone. Hee hee, let's tour inside this hotel. Here is the hotel lobby. The reception desk is here, guys. These are all the keys to the room. Wow, let's go into one of the rooms. Oh, the furniture in this hotel is complete. Light TV, fridge stuffed with food, a bed, and many more. There is a hotel balcony to enjoy the view. This is the dining area for guests. And this is where the hotel staff prepare the food. The food ingredients here are very complete. The hotel rooms are also plentiful, guys. The luxury hotel exudes elegance and sophistication. Good job, Peter Games. Let's move on to the next one. The build number 7 is a luxury plane. Damn, this is so cool. This is also built by Peter Games. Let's tour this plane. Here is a beach chair for relaxing. There is also a place to play basketball. The plane is carefully crafted, from the wings to the engines. Even the tail is so cool. I've also built a swimming pool and hot spring here. Oh, now I want to soak here lol. Let's go down. Passenger seat. Seats arrangement is very neat. And here is where the flight attendants prepare meals for the passengers. Look at all of this guys. This room is full of food. So yummy. And here's the toilet. And here is where the cockpit is located. Wow, this cockpit is amazing. Let's go down further. Because this is a luxury plane, this plane also has bedrooms. This bedroom is also cozy. Can I sleep now? And here is where the petrol tank is located. The place where the system channels power to the engine. Peter Gaines' skill in constructing luxury planes is truly exceptional, showcasing meticulous attention to detail and innovative design elements. Let's move on to the last build. The last build is a treehouse. This concept is so brilliant, because a treehouse is a house that is always a dream for children. Let's tour inside. Damn Peter Games, this is incredible. He, and here's the balcony. Whoa, this is so amazing. Enjoying the view from the top of treehouse. There's also a camp here. This is awesome. I'm so speechless right now. And here I am saving my money. Let's go to the first floor. Oh, here is a place to eat and relax. Ha ha ha, what are you doing, Pitter Games? And that is so cool. This treehouse is exceptional, showcasing both creativity and structural prowess. Good job, Pitter Games. Hey guys, welcome to the new build battle. And here we have build number one from my friend, Cheeseburger. Hello, Cheeseburger. All right, cheeseburger, let's go. What is this, bro? Oh, luxury cruise boat. Damn, the boat skate is cool. And what is this? Wow, the cockpit? Let's explore the inside. Guys, wow, this is very cool, bro. This feels very luxurious. Lifesaver, this is a float. And indeed, this is a lifesaver. Uh -huh. This is the toilet, and many other furniture items are neatly arranged, so elegant. And the engine space. Alright guys, this luxury cruise boat is so cool. I would give this luxury build an 8.5 out of 10. Overall a good build. Thanks for showing this cheeseburger. Let's move on to the second build. And the second build is, a big statue. Wow! And Rafif is the builder. Dragon? Dude, what? It's me. Wow Rafif. You made me a statue, and I look handsome too. Rafif? You're an insane builder. It's crazy how you make all these alone. Yeah bro. I know. That's why you're an amazing builder. Good job bro. Can we go inside Rafif? Oh, it's okay Rafif. No problem. I just wanted to see the internal structure. Damn. It's so big. Rafif made it so neatly. Oh, I saw it earlier. You even built my name too. This is so cool. I love it. Dragon? Dude? Lol. Everyone is joining. Rafif. I must say, this is an 11 out of 10 build. Thank you for making me an amazing statue and showing it to me. Good job. Let's move on to the next build. And this is build number 3. A cozy house. Let's go. Wow. Just entered the room. And it already feels cozy and luxurious. Here is the builder. Walkman 21. The living room is decorated very neatly and elegantly. Oh, this must be Walkman's room. Because boys' rooms are always like this. Hee <laughs> hee. Yup, this is Walkman's room. 
The kitchen. Oh, here is not just an ordinary kitchen. Heaters, washing machines, kitchen. Even dining areas are available here. And many more guys. Very good job bro. It's really well detailed. I like it. Guys, a room for studying or working. Ah, I want it guys. The garage turned into a warehouse. Walkman is very detailed guys. And the TV is still on. Guys, overall this house is perfect. It's really well detailed. This is a 10 out of 10. Good job Walkman. Wait, there's another build next to it. Wow. A library. Nice. Not only that. He also made a camp. Great build Walkman 21, let's move on to the next one. The build number 4 is, a mansion. Wow! This looks cool guys. And the builder is, Peter Games. Bruh, why is there a clone? And? Bald? Anyways, let's take a tour of the mansion. This is the mansion's gate. So fancy. The kitchen. Nice. Damn, a garage filled with luxury vehicles. So cool. Oh. A restaurant. The menu board is also very unique and cute. Moreover this is very neat and beautiful guys. Oh, let me help you. Let's continue the tour. Whoa. Beautiful bedroom. This room is the best. Damn. And we have a private jet here. So cool. There is another room as well. It is very nice and neatly organized. Alright so, I will give this build 10 out of 10. The build is perfect. Good job Peter Games. And thanks for showing the build. Let's move on to the next build. The build number 5 is, an airport. Wow. This one is also made by Peter Games. Great job. Let's tour the airport. Oh, there are many helicopters at this airport, and not just one model only, and there are airplanes here too. Nice, here is an aircraft fueling station. Let's go inside the airport. Oh, the airport waiting area. Nice, made very neatly. Oh, let's go. This tall and large structure is the control tower guys. Let's explore it. Whoa. This is a computer for monitoring the entire airport. This tower is also very good guys. Here is the office for airport staff. Another computer. This airport is amazing. No doubt, this is also a 10 out of 10. Good job. With a stable position, the plane is now in an ideal position for a safe run- Wait, hey 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 hey! Oh, nice pitter games, but, let me try to do smooth landing. Ouch! Alright, show me the next build bro. And the build number 6 is, a rocket. Damn, Peter Games is very creative. Let's tour inside. A fridge. Wow, the fridge is stuffed with food, so yummy. Mm. And here's the toilet. There's also a TV and a mirror. There are also rooms for the crew. Oh, a control room. This is the cockpit. Nice, wow, that's the engine control of this rocket. So cool. I would rate it an 8 out of 10. The rocket is constructed neatly and tightly. Good job Peter Games. Let's move to the next build. Oh, Peter Games. And the build number 7 is, a prison. Let's tour inside guys. Huh? Oh, he blocked the door so no prisoners could escape. Let's go. Whoa, this prison is so big, and so detailed. Let's see another room. What? Why is there blood? Looks like there's been a murder here. Oh, this was just set guys. Phew. And here is another prison room. Peter Games made it with great detail. And here is where the prison guards monitor all the prisoners guys. Very cool. A room for prisoners to work I guess. Great. Oh, an office for prison guards. Nice. And next, prison guards must remind everyone to, subscribe to Dragon Dude. This prison building is absolutely impressive. The attention to detail and creativity you've put into it shines through. For sure. This build is a 10 out of 10. Good job Peter Games. Oh. Thank you Peter Games. You are so kind. Let's move on to the next build. 
and the build number 8. Oh, a parkour. Yup. Let's try it. Bruh. Bruh. Uh? Bruh. Uh? Bruh. 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 Nice. Bruh. It's hard. Phew. Bruh. Once again guys. Okay now even harder. Yeah guys this is very difficult, especially since I'm using an emulator which makes it even harder bra, and of course I can't give a rating yet, because I haven't finished it, hee <laughs> hee, but I can say that this parkour build is really good, and let's move on to the last build, and the last build is, Peter Games, what is that, it looks scary, it looks like some kind of ritual, creepy vibes, zombie apocalypse, Zombie King sit here, oh, it's a chair for the Zombie King. Wow guys, Peter Games built something quite out of the box, but I'm curious, how big the Zombie King is. No doubt, this build is a 10 out of 10. Good job bro. Yup, that's the last build in today's video. What do you think, which one do you like? Let me know in the comments. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you. Um, 